today is the last but one day of our one month program and here various techniques you have studied and so far whatever the session is being taken its uh, recordings was available means it was given to you in the youtube today you are learning you are going to learn pair trade using the golden ratios whatever the ratios you have learned in the first session jensen alpha sar ratio trainer ratio correlation using that how you can do a pair trade and 23rd you are going to learn purely on the beta decoupling concept which is my own concept beta decoupling concept so using that concept how you can do the pair trade so very objective of the pair trade is to manage the risk very objective of the pair trade is the instrument which is available at a cheaper price you will be buying it the instrument which is available at a at a costlier price you will be selling it so that will be the objective of that particular trade so whenever we talk about the pair trade it is a process of trading wherein you will be choosing two stocks say that stocks will be x and y so through some mathematical process you have to find out which is cheaper and which is costlier so the stock which is costlier at that particular time you have to sell it stock which is cheaper at that particular time you have to buy it so cheaper stock you have to buy costlier stock you have to sell so that process of trading is known as your pair trading and that process whenever you initiate the trade means pair trade so we used to find out that the stock which is as a costlier thing it will correct or it will not move the way a cheaper stock can move so with that assumption we used to do and the mathematical help what we are taking here is jensen alpha sar ratio trainer ratio correlation spread analysis so this five six things and beta decoupling also we used to take into confidence for estimating who is the cheaper and who is costlier so specifically since one leg is involved in selling another leg is involved in the buy so you cannot able to do this trade in equity segment you have to take the help of futures so future segment you have to take the help for initiating these trades and you have to also you have to also hedge the things if uh, if it is required if uh, the pair requires some some of the hedging then you need to hedge it also so all those things we are going to learn today so i am going to demonstrate that things with the help of our pair trade software so you can do pair trade in intraday basis you can do pair trade in the positional basis so whenever you are doing the trade in the positional basis maximum days of holding will be 10 minimum will be 3 days so what we used to do here first in this particular tool you are taking three counters say x y and z then we are just seeing that the counter which is having the highest volatility should be considered as a x highest volatility and counter which is having the next highest volatility should be y and the counter which is having the least volatility should be z so then we have to calculate all these ratios jensen alpha sar ratio trainer ratio so jensen alpha sar ratio and trainer ratio says that the counter the or the script which will be having lesser jensen alpha lesser sar ratio and lesser trainer ratio is cheaper as compared to the script which is having higher jensen alpha higher sar ratio and trainer ratio then we have to take one parameter called alpha if alpha of a counter e is positive then it is costlier as compared to the other counter and then we have to take another factor called correlation correlation is a relationship between how strong their relationship is so that is varies from 
0 to plus 1 or 0 to minus 1. So you have a correlation scale from minus 1 to plus 1. So if the counters are having a relationship 0 to 1, so you can say that both are having a strong bondage, they will move in the same direction. However, if they have a negative correlation, then you can say that they, they will move in an opposite direction. They do not have any strong relationship. So the ideal correlation which will give you a comfort level of entry is 0 0.618. So this level is one of the Fibonacci level also. So and also this is uh, the ideal level. 0 to 0.618 is the ideal level of correlation once it moves above 0 0.75, 0 0.75 of this level, so we are saying that the correlation is very strong and it is at any moment this correlation can break. So there is a chances of hedging or we need to hedge the trade for our betterment so that we need to also take care. So here whenever this analysis is being done. I have taken the bank nifty. I have taken Axis bank. I have taken SBI three counters. I have taken whenever you are taking any index with a stock then index is the supreme and index though it will have a low volatility as compared to the stock but it will be considered as a prime and it will be considered as a X or the first 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 symbol to be considered for the calculation of sharp ratio, Jensen's alpha and trainer ratio. So by taking this thing we have got this information Bank Nifty having a 25% volatility axis 29 and SBI 28.75 and based on the volatility estimate and based on the Fibonacci proportion we have calculated their uptrend and downtrend levels and we have also calculated their Alpha, SARP ratio, Jensen SARP, Turner ratio, all these things we have also calculated. So post calculating these values, we need to initiate a trade. So that trade requires what being asked to me that uh, can we not take SBI, Bank Nifty, ICICI and Nifty, Bank Nifty and Nifty, why we should not take this one? So it's a very important question. Bank Nifty is a sectoral index, Nifty is a common index. So whenever you are forming a pair in a common index and a sectoral index, pair trade never works well because sectoral index will be dominated by sectoral stocks. Suppose Bank Nifty will be dominated by the banking stocks. It will not have any domination of IT stocks, infrastructure stocks and anything. However, Nifty will be dominated by all different different stocks which is in their basket based on their level of level of market capitalization. Henceforth do not form a pair between a sectoral index and a, and a common index. So it is it never works well. However sectoral index with the sectoral stocks is a good idea. Common index with a common stocks means with any high net worth stock that is also a good idea. So here I have taken here I have taken your Bank Nifty, Axis and SBI. We have done the analysis. Alpha you got, SARP ratio, trainer ratio, correlation, everything you have got. And this is for we have taken for November series. So let me see what it is giving here. What outcome we are in. So this analysis of sectoral index and common index so 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 that sectoral index and common index is given us one then you have to take a buy sell decision so we got a sharp ratio lower sharp ratio lower jensen sulfur royal turner ratio it is a cheaper counter any counter having a higher jensen sulfur higher sharp ratio higher turner ratio is costlier counter and same time you have a correlation parameter. The correlation parameter says that whether the hedging is required or hedging is not required. So that is also very important. So here in the bank nifty and axis pair what we are getting. We are getting here the 
axis and bank nifty pair so jensen alpha sharp ratio trainer ratio suggesting that axis is cheaper buy it and sell bank nifty then beta decoupling say that opposite view alpha recommends axis same view correlation recommends recommends that you should trade but with hedging because the correlation is above 0.75 above 0.75 spread analysis said that trade is not recommended so out of seven studies what we have taken out of seven studies four studies are recommending a axis buy one study is telling that bank nifty should be bought correlation study is telling that you are in a very optimum level that you can decay spread saying that trade is not recommended then moving to the bank nifty and sbi so here too you have one two three and four studies are saying bank nifty you buy and sell sbi and correlation also recommends the trade with without option hedge and spread doesn't recommends the trade so here two views are against the trade of buying bank nifty and selling sbi but other views are majority of the views out of seven five views are in favor of buying the bank nifty and selling the sbi now moving to the last that axis and sbi so here you are saying that 1 2 3 4 5 so five studies are recommending axis buy and selling sbi recommended correlation also recommending the trade without option hedging spread alone is saying that trade is not recommended suppose we are taking this view granted and considering this is the best pair among this three axis buy and sbi sell if we are entering this value suppose if you are entering this particular things i also explain how you can hedge it also suppose we are just entering this particular thing based on this particular factor buying axis axis november lot size is 1000 and 1000 we are buying it at 513 rupees which is the last traded price here which is the last traded price here 513.5 and we are selling sbi 251 so we are selling the sbi so selling sbi at 251 so let me see what is the lot size of the sbi it must probably 2000 to is to has this particular things how we have developed the hedging strategy simple way axis we bought 513 and SBI we sold 251. I'm telling that access you have a maximum probability to go to 523. So you are just going to gain 10 rupees from the access. If this trade is favorable and SBI also favorable, it is coming to 246 and you are getting to getting some 10,000 rupees here. So what I did here without sacrificing that 10 rupees, I sold one 520 call option which is 17 rupees 60 paisa. So SBI also I sold. now i i'm just hunting for a put option which i can sell which is near to 246 so 245 also one put option is there so which is quoting at 8 rupees 10 paisa let me sell that one also let me sell one more put option here sell 245 put 245 per put so which is at a quoting at a 8 rupees 8 rupees it is quoting for the november series 8 rupees and 10 paisa so 8 rupees and 10 paisa so 8 rupees and 10 paisa so without compromising with your profit estimation so if this both the trades comes to means in the same level or moves in a different different uh, means in a different order so here we can say 7 plus 17.6 7.6 uh, 17.6 plus 7 so this is the 24000 we are going to gain 24600 and here 14 into so 14 into 2000 so 8 rupees 10 paisa plus 251 251 to 245 is 6 rupees and 8 rupees are here 14 rupees and 10 paisa you are getting here 
so 14 rupees and 10 paisa into 2000 so by just writing this option your profitability what you have estimated to 11000 can become 52000 maximum if both the trades move as per your anticipation and axis bank moves up and goes beyond 523 and same time SBI falls down and fall below 245 so then your expectation from this trade will be which was just 20,000 become to 52,800 just if you convert it to a covered call or covered put. similarly so here also we have expected 504 and 254 this level so here you can furthermore think of think of hedging it means you can just buy one you are getting some extra money so think of buying a 500 put option if you want so think of buying a buying a 255 or 260 56 level you are come saying think of buying a call option so this also further more protection it increases 260 call option if you are buying and to 500 and put option if you are buying then also you can further more protection it increases however again it will reduce your performance on the trade or however it will reduce again the profitability in the trade so pair trade can be initiated based on the factor that at that particular time which stock is costlier and which stock is cheaper the costlier one you are selling cheaper one you are buying then the hedging has multiple dimensions so the hedging can be done without compromising with the profit you can convert the future trades buy and sell trade to a covered call and covered put trade or you can again convert if you want that further one more layer of security can be added then you can again convert it to a covered call and covered put along with a plain call buy or put buy to again to add in the second leg of your trade so that you can be more protected or one more layer of protection you can add into your trade so this is how you can do the pair trade with hedging and hedging definitely it reduces the performance uh, definitely it reduces the performance and here whenever it is recommended that correlation is not favorable and do with the hedging then it is good whenever it recommends that no you should do the hedging without the involvement of the options you should do without the involvement of options whenever it is recommended do the trade with the involvement of option you should also do in the same way so this is how you should do pair trade using the golden ratio of jensen alpha sharp ratio trainer ratio with the help of correlations and spread analysis so this particular product comes with our futures and option product future and option course with automated option pair trade things you get an intraday option positional option and pair trade tool this product also comes with our smart it tool smart it also has this pair trading feature in that however in the option course you are getting one course complete course of futures and option with the dvds and book however in the smart it you may not get that course that is only difference so but the software is the same in both the cases and you can do pair trade in uh, pair trade for intraday perspective you can do pair trade for the positional perspective positional means three days minimum maximum 10 days intraday means the same day you have to come out from that so only couple of stocks you have to choose and just do click the analysis button in that uh, software so it will take care of all those works of downloading data calculating and other aspects and besides that other products also we have so as I have already told in earlier sessions. So totally if you are buying all the packages, it will cost you 17,500. Individual packages has individual pricing. Smart, uh, Smart IT comes with a price of 8,500. If you are going for this only pair trade and options, this is coming with a, a 7,000 price. So any product related queries, if you want us to address, then please call our sales number. This is given here. So 9840348971 or 0446499582. Any question related to this particular concept, you can ask.